So if you have a request and you don't want to say it out loud, you can wave your hand. Hallelujah. Thank God acknowledging those requests in Jesus' name. Blessing. Amen. We're going to ask our Bishop Hunt to lead us in prayer. Test me not, O gentle Savior.
Amen. A lot of struggles going on in the mind and in the spirit. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but it was a it was a struggle this morning. I woke up. Amen. With a struggle. And I said, I know this is not my struggle. Amen. But this is somebody else's struggle. Amen. But I'm going to give it to the Lord. I'm taking it to the Lord and I'm leaving it there. I don't know. Amen. What you're going through. But when I came into church, I felt a little sorrow. Amen. I felt a little somber. Amen. We've all suffered some losses. Amen. This year, maybe this week, maybe yesterday. Amen. But I come to let you know and to remind you. Amen that God cares for you. Amen. It's our job to take it to the Lord and leave it there. Amen. I struggled in my mind. I said, amen, what to bring before your people on today? What do we need? Amen. Because we're all on different levels in our mind. Different things are going on. But the foundational part is that we all have hope. Somebody. Hallelujah. That's the foundational part. I may be low my spirit over here. I may be happy in mind over here. But I need somebody to get excited just for a split second, hallelujah, and say, I have hope. Hallelujah, I'm reminded today that I have hope. I'm going to take the time and pray with us, and we're going to go through all of the formalities, but somebody needs to make their mind up today that I'm laying my all on the altar, amen? I spoke a message last time, take it to the Lord and leave it there, but somebody ain't get that message. I'm going to lay it all on the altar. I'm going to leave it with God. Because all it's doing is taking my mind. It's taking my thoughts. It's sucking the life right out of me. But I've given it to him. I've cast my cares upon him. I laid it at his feet. But the devil keep raising his head. I need to let you all know today that's his job. If he ain't running behind you, you ain't living right. If he ain't in your face all the time, you ain't doing nothing for God. If he's on your back every time you turn around, every time you look up, every time you wake up, Behind you, be there. Hallelujah, you're doing the right thing. I need you to get excited on today. Hallelujah, say, I have hope. Hallelujah. I don't care what goes on. Hallelujah, I don't care what comes my way. I have hope. Maybe you ain't doing what you're supposed to do all the way. But you keep hearing his voice. You keep hearing him whispering to you. He keeps calling your name, but you don't have that strength just to run out there. Hallelujah, but I'm encouraging you today to lay it all. Hallelujah, on the altar. I want to be saved. I want to be set free. I want to be delivered. I want to be made whole. I want to walk in the beauty of holiness. I want to feel the presence of God. Just lay it on the altar. We come to be blessed to have communion on today. And share in with the Lord. And commune with our brethren. Amen. But our goal today is keep that foundational mindset. I have hope. I have hope. I have, I have hope. We have to say that thing and mean that thing and let it resonate in our hearts. We walk around bent down. We walk around with our head down. We walk around weak and like we don't have nowhere to go. Nobody don't love us. Nobody don't care about us. But I need you to lift your heads up today. Hallelujah. I need you to lift your heads up today. I need you to look to the hills for which cometh your help. Jesus. I have hope through him. Not my glory, not my will, not my might, not my power, but through him. I have hope. I need to speak to someone briefly as the Lord took me there. St. Matthew's the fifth chapter. Let me pray. Most gracious heavenly father. We come before you. I need you to stand up right quick as the Lord took me there. St. Matthew's the fifth chapter. Let me pray. Most gracious heavenly father. We come before you. I need you to stand up right quick, you God. Can somebody say it's possible? It's possible. It's possible with God. With God. With God. With God. And man, it ain't possible if you don't have God. But with God, all things are possible. Raise your hands if you will. Heavenly Father, I come before you.
volume. Hallelujah, empty, Lord God. With these hands lifted up, we're speaking for ourselves. We come empty, Lord. Hallelujah, asking you to fill us with your spirit, Lord. You already know our hearts. You already know our minds. You already know our spirit, God. But we come with our hands lifted up in surrender. Lord, whatever your will is, God, we receive it and accept it on today. Knowing that you are the one that knows our hearts, so God, every being about us, God. And only you can answer it, God. Only you can turn it around. Only you can set us free, God. Only you can loose us from it. And for that, God, our hands are up, our eyes are closed, our head is up. Because we're looking to you, our strength, our peace, our joy, it comes from you. In Jesus' name, God, let the words, hallelujah, oh God, that I speak, let them go out and not return to it, God, your rich word, your spoken word. Let it touch the hearts of your people, Lord. Let it tap the fall the ground, God. Let it stir up the minds, oh God. Let it set us cap. let it set the captive free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every yoke be broken, every yoke be destroyed, every hindering spirit be torn down, every blinding spirit, hallelujah, be ripped apart. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I need y'all in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, I made holy. I need you. I made whole. I made whole. In the name. In the name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. This service is yours. You know, we know. Amen. How to have church. And it's all about the Lord having his way. That's how we have church here. At 546 Elm Street. We are let go and let God have his way. It's a struggle for some of us even to get up and put on clothes and come here. But to God, be the glory. If I can just get one foot before the other, I'm going in Jesus' name. Even if my mind crazy. Even if my mind ain't right. Even if my mind is not settled. Even if my mind is everywhere but Something is bound to happen. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody in there lifting up Jesus. Somebody's calling on his name. Somebody's giving him the glory. And if I can just get there, that's going to get on me. That spirit going to get on me. I'm going to make a connection. And I'm going to get what I'm going to need. But if I can just get there, if I can just get there, if I can just get the car in the driveway. Hallelujah. If I can just get the car in the driveway, something is bound to happen. Amen. This is for you that is going through today. St. Matthew's, the fifth chapter. It's not in my text, but I will obey God. St. Matthew's, the fifth chapter, and the third verses, third, starting at the third verse, the second verse. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. The 12th verse says, Rejoice! 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 And be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. Can we give God a hand of praise? Amen. You can do better than that, y'all. Hallelujah. 
I'm not going to get before you long, but we can do better than that. We owe God some praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We owe him some praises. Our hands get tired, and we start opening our mouths and start yelling that thing out. He's allowing us in this passage of scripture to find the place that we are and find hope. He's giving us hope. He's showing us hope. He said, blessed are the poor yes, yes, in spirit, yes. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. There's your hope. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. There is your hope. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. There is your hope. So we have hope in God on today. We've set aside today for our communion for this uh, month. Amen. And we're thanking God for that opportunity to commune with him through his body and his blood, which is his bread and the, uh, our grape juice. Amen. The fruit of the vine and our, also our foot washing. Amen. For our brotherly love being shown one to the other. Our focus today is to lay it on the altar. And so many opportunities we get to lay things down. Amen. And we, we, we allow that opportunity to pass us by because we're afraid. Amen. Somebody will talk about us because we've been saved for a while and we've been with the Lord for a while. But how many of you know, can nobody save you but God? Amen. Amen. And all of us that have come to God were sinners at some point. Amen. Amen. We, disappoint, we disappointed God in some facet. Amen. But our opportunity is to get ourselves prepared for God. So many opportunities, as I shared, we miss because our hearts aren't where God needs it to be. Okay. But it's an opportunity for us to make our mind up today. Amen. That, Lord, I want better. I want more of you and I want less of me. I want to take it all and lay it on the altar. We have the imaginary altar. We used to have an altar. But when we come to the front, that's, that's our altar. We're coming closer to God. Yeah. But I'm using our communion table as our altar, a raised up place. If we're all kneeling, we have to look up to it. But how many of you know God wants us to find him in our heart, the altar of our heart? Will we come and lay our all on the altar of our heart that God may take that thing, hallelujah, and work it out in us? So many times we don't want to lay it down because that's losing control. But I want to lose control. I don't know about you. I want to lose control. I want to lose control. I want to lose some things. Amen. I want to let some things go. I want to free myself up so my spirit man, hallelujah, can have a little bit more peace, can have a little bit more joy, have a little more excitement, have a little more enthusiasm. I want to let some things go. I choose to let it go. Because at the end of the day, all it is doing is consuming me. Yeah. All it is is taking a hold on me and a grip on me. But if I was God, if God was in full control, how great we would be. How awesome we would be for the Lord. So that's where the enemy comes in and he want to trick us and hold us down. If I hold this thing, if I pet this thing, if I wrap it up, if I hide it in my pocket, if I stick it in my clothes, nobody will see it. But how many of you know that thing's still attached? It's still growing in you. It's still sucking the life out of you. So you have to make your mind up. And I'm going to take it to the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm laying it on the altar. Because it's not worthy of the space that I have given God. It's not worthy of the space and the time that I've given God. So I'm going to take it. And I'm going to give it to God. Lay it at his feet. Because I want more. I want better. I want to see the hand of God in this hour. I want to see him work those miracles like he said he would. Amen. He said greater works what we do. Amen. Because we have the Lord with us. I realize the more weight I lose, the better I feel in my body. It's easy to get off. But it's hard to stay off. Y'all say, no, it ain't hard to get on. Yes, it is, because all you have to do is get your mind set and focused and determine that you're going to do what? I, yeah. You go what? 
anything you're going through. Let's focus for a whole split second. Anything, just bring something to your mind that you're struggling with for real. No, for real. Amen. And it's got you by your, it's got a grip on you. Amen. It makes you weak to your knees. Amen. It makes your eyes water. It makes you want to get sick. It makes you want to throw up something you've been holding on to. Hallelujah. I dare you to say in your mind, Lord, I give it to you. Hallelujah. I give it to you, Lord. Hallelujah. You may not be ready to give it to him, but just say it in your heart. Hallelujah. I'm going to start speaking that thing until it comes into existence. I'm going to be free of this thing. I'm going to walk away from this thing. I'm going to be closer to God. Let me go. 
that keeps me up at night, that keeps my mind on a wonder, that won't allow me to rest in my spirit, but it's got me toiling and it's got me turning and it's got me in turmoil because it's got a grip on me. But those are things that we lay at the altar. You say, girl, I can't even shake it or loose from me, but you can speak it out your mouth. This is what's holding me, God. This is what's got a grip on me, God. You have to confess those things and forsake it. You know if that thing has got you and it's holding you and it got a grip on you and won't let you go, you got to lay it aside. Janet, how do you lay aside? Well, I have an anger problem. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a perverted uh, spirit on me. So how do you deal with those things? You don't allow yourself to get caught up. You know you finna get upset. What should you do? Run from it. You know you, your hands finna wander and look at something or touch something you're not supposed to. You supposed to run from it. Get thee his behind me, Satan. Yes. God is with me. I heard somebody rebuke the spirit. Yes. You say, well, where did this come from? It came straight from God. Because now we're, we're, we're at that place where we're taxing. It's time for us to get a blessing. God is getting ready to bless us. Amen. It's, we got to be totally free. Amen. We got to be totally free. We got to be so clean on the inside that what God is getting ready to pour into us is going to fill us up. I ain't hear nobody getting excited right there. Hallelujah. We got to do something first. In order for the blessings to come, we have to release something. We have to lay something down. We have to give something to the Lord. I hear you. I like that. Make room. Make room for what's coming at us next. I don't see nobody getting excited. Probably because we're still stuck on. I got to let some things go. In order for us to grow, we got to let some things grow, go. In order for us to achieve new things and positive things, we have to give some things up. We can't be hoarders. We have to let things go. If we got six things of one thing, we need to give five people something. God did what? He was always giving. If it wasn't giving his word, he was passing out blessings, a working miracle, a performing various things going on. If we're like him, everything is in our hands. All we have to do is ask for it. Everything belongs to God. And all we need is to ask him for it. He already knows our needs before we ask them. While we're yet thinking it, he's giving it to us. But what does he want us to do? Lay it on the altar. Whatever it is. Whatever is holding you back. Whatever is tangling your feet. And I dare you to get a piece of paper and write it down. And bring it and put it on the communion table. That's what we're going to do today. Hallelujah. If you really mean what you say and you really want to get free of it, I want you to write it on a piece of paper and bring it to the communion table when we perform our, our go through our sacrament. Anybody believe that? Anybody believe that? Anybody want to be free on today? Isaiah. So you'll say she read something about Isaiah the sixth chapter. The seventh, six and six, six, I'm sorry, the sixth chapter Isaiah in the seventh and eighth verse, it says. And he said, and he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquities is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, here am I. Send me. God has to prepare us, doesn't he? He has to clean us up, right? In order for us to go to the next place and the next height or the next level or dimension or wherever you're trying to go, there's a cleansing that has to take place. A cleansing in our mouth, in our heart, and in our spirit. When we get those things correct with God, then we're able to go with him. 
There's some things in my heart we have to tell and confess those things that is holding me back from doing the will of God. God has already spoken to you and shared what he wants to do with you, but yet it's still something that's still on the inside of you. Amen. And you say, oh, it ain't no harm to dislike this person. I don't like dislike them. I dislike their ways. But God said, love ye one another. Love your enemies. Love your friends. Love your foes. Love those that are going to use you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you. I read that thing and it's been penetrating my heart. If I'm going to do your will in love and with freedom, I got to have love in my heart. Yes. Yes. Amen. If I get along with somebody, if I don't like somebody, then shame on me. Right. Especially if I say I know God. Oh, yes. Especially if I say the Holy Ghost is abiding on the inside of me because we're one. We are one through the spirit of God. We are one. We are closer than flesh and blood to you that have the spirit. God is calling us to the altar of our hearts to lay those things down that are tangling our feet. He wants us to be renewed in our minds. First, we have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We have to allow the spirit of God to transfer the spirits in our mind that are holding us back to be re released out of us. Those things that are possessing us. Those things that are keeping us from doing God's will. I need you all to be encouraged on the day that you have the best gift you can have. The Holy Ghost. You have the best gift you can ever have here on earth is the Holy Ghost. Because that is your weapon. That is your vehicle. That is your way out of here. When Jesus raptures us back, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you will not go back with him. I need you, Lord. If our relationship ain't as close as it should be, make that decision today. I want to get closer. And I'm going to get closer. And find yourself making provisions to get closer. Make it your practice. I know I'm not where I need to be, but I, this is where I'm going. God is leading me to the altar to lay it there. So I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice. You can practice to be saved. That, that's not hypocritical. You practice because what you're going to do, form a habit. I'm going to read my Bible. Let's practice it. I'm going to study the word. I'm going to practice. I'm going to read a verse of scripture every day. That's a practice. Because the more you perfect that thing, it's going to become a habit. And then you're going to find yourself praying. You're going to find yourself reading. You're going to find yourself exalt, making a vision, word of knowledge. You're going to find yourself doing a lot of things that you didn't think you could do. But because you have given it to God, because you've laid it at the altar, God will come and he will reconcile you to himself. He'll reacquaint himself with you and allow you to grow in him. The cross is the altar for which we as Christians know that Jesus sacrificed his life at the cross. So that's the altar of us, the cross. We had to go to the cross and find that we needed Jesus. And he, finding Jesus at the cross allowed us to lay our all at the altar. Amen. Can we give God a hand of praise? Amen. Come on, somebody. You need to get excited about it. Somebody, I want to make a change. I want to turn my life around. I want to go forward and not back. I want to look up and not down. I want to look straight and not behind me. Hallelujah. What does it mean to lay your all on the altar? You will have to stop. Oops. You will have to stop conforming. Conforming to the patterns of this fallen world. Our ways, our thoughts, our verbiage. We have to change from that. Laying that down and picking up righteous things, heavenly things, things that are going to prosper us. 
things that are going to grow us, things that are going to strengthen us, things that are going to make us happy. Was well, that Janet, I can't let this go. Yes, you can. We can let go of those hurts, those childhood hurts. We can, we can, we can let go of those generational curses. Just because your mama did it, you don't have to. Just because your daddy did it, you don't have to. If that spirit is hovering around you, you can give it to God. If you've been letting it chase you for years, you better keep running. Hallelujah, but you can run right on to the altar. Hallelujah, lay it right there. I will no longer be bound. I need somebody to go there. I will no longer be bound. I will not longer be caught in my ankle. I will no longer carry a ball and chain. I will no longer walk bent over in shame. But I will stand erect and give my God praise. Give my God praise for delivering me. Give my God praise for setting me free. Give my God praise for loving me in spite of me. If I give him nothing else but my time, my praise, my worship, I will not come to church again and let the enemy be victorious. I will give God the glory that he's due. So whatever we need to lay on the altar. Let us make a, make a conscious decision to lay it down. Isaiah was ready to be sent. He had to go before the children of Israel and talk to them and, and let them know what the Lord says. So he said the Lord had to purge him, send him through a repentance, and then anoint him to do the work. And then he said, Lord, I'm ready. You need somebody, here am I. You need somebody to go, here am I. I will do the task. I will do the work. I will take the charge. But what shall I do in the meantime? Lay it at the altar. He knew he couldn't do it on his own, Isaiah. So he had to seek the Lord and allow the Lord to change the situation. God is compelling us, saints of God. We don't have to go around burdened and heavy hearted. We don't have to keep dragging our past with us. And even in our present, things that we're going through, if they're hindering us in our faith, it's time to what? If it's taking us from what's important, we need to do what? Ooh, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. If it's causing us to have anxieties, Hallelujah, stresses and panic attacks. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. We need to lay it where? Hallelujah, Lord, I accept you today. Can y'all send to your feet? Would you send to your feet today? Hallelujah, and I want you to just make a declaration that you accept the Lord, not because I said it. Hallelujah, but Lord, I accept you into my heart. I accept you in my spirit. Hallelujah, you say I already have you, God, but no, I accept you for this task. I accept you now for what I'm getting ready to go through. Because I need greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I accept you, Lord, in my heart. I accept you in my spirit. I accept you in my thought processes. Because I cannot change by myself. I need you, God. He need our hearts to open up to him and speak to him. Lay it out all on the altar. Some of us will go to the door of God and he'll, we hear God knocking on our heart door and we won't let him come in. I don't want them seeing me cry. I'm not a punk. I'm not a wimp. I'm not a crybaby. I'm not soft. But it's time to release some stuff that's taking its grip on us, that's taking us down, that's taking us away from God. Lord, I surrender my heart. I surrender my mind. I surrender my spirit, Lord. I want to go to that place of peace as Bishop Hunt spoke on last week. I want to go to that place of peace. How can I get there, Lord? How can I get there? I surrender my all to you, Lord. I take it to the altar, God, and I lay it at your feet, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Make me new, God. Put me with people that have a heart for you, Lord. Put me around positive people, God. Change me, Lord. Change me, Lord. From the inside out, God. Allow me, God, to lay it on the altar. From a baby of infancy, 
to right now as an adult, casting it upon the Lord, for he cares for us. I need you, Lord. I don't feel nobody love me, God. I feel your spirit. I feel your spirit. I don't feel nobody love me, God. I don't feel nobody understand me. I feel your spirit. Hallelujah. I don't feel nobody cares about me. Nobody is feeling it like me, God. But I'm coming to you, Lord Jesus. I'm coming to you with all I have, God, because I know you love me. And there's nothing you will hold against me, God. I receive you all today, Lord. Take my heart, Lord, my mind, and my spirit, God. Make me new. Make me new, God. Make me new, God. I come to you, Jesus, just as I am, God. Weary, wounded, and sad, I come to you, Lord God. Knowing that if it wasn't for you, Lord God, I wouldn't be able to make it, God. If it wasn't for you, Lord God, I wouldn't be able to stand. But because of your grace, because of your mercy, I stand before you, God, with open heart and an open mind. God reminds us, come unto me, all in that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden, it is light. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We praise you, God. We come before you, Lord Jesus, with outstretched hands and open hearts, God, that you rest in us. Forgive us for our sins, God, here in our land. Make us new, God. Make us new, Lord God. Let our covenant, O oh God, be renewed. Let our covenant be renewed through our faith in you, Lord Jesus. I agree. I accept you, Lord. I receive you, God. Come into my heart, Lord God. Accept me as your servant. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Can we give God a hand of praise? Hallelujah. I won't let you go, God. I won't let you go, God. No matter what attacks me, God. No matter what befalls me, God. I won't let you go, 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 God. Hallelujah, Jesus.
God, please, please God, ask the Lord, bless this bread that he gave to his disciples. It wasn't in, in the intent uh, of heart that they come and uh, be, ready, be ready to surrender some things unto him. Praise God. And this is what we find that even at the most difficult portion of your life, that if there's something that you're dealing with that you need the Lord to have, praise God. It is not no longer your possession, but an offering of yours unto the Lord. As best as indicated unto us, praise God. If that's you, if you have written something down and you have brought it, praise God, before, we want to receive the day. If you haven't written it down and it's on your heart, if it needs to be spoken, praise God. Hallelujah. As an affirmation of your faith, praise God. We open this time for you to say so right now. If that's something, praise God, that you're still not capable of doing, but you want to admit to you, the Lord from your heart, praise God, this time is for you at this moment, praise God, before we go into prayer. I'm writing it down and I'm saying it. I'm, I'm laying down my mind of not taking care of myself health wise. And I'm picking up a mind, the right mind, that I will take care of myself. My health is on the altar. The new one praise that I have it in the heart. Lord, acknowledge those things of your heart, praise God. Give you trust in Him. I will give my God committed to His trust, committed to His commit uh, to Him alone, praise God. He will bring the prayer of faith. The Bible says, praise God, when we pray the prayer of faith, my God, oh, that will bring the, my God, the effect, praise God, of healing and deliverance in Jesus' name, praise God. On the altar. On the Bless the Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah, my God. Your heart's committed today. Hallelujah. Give something to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just raise your hands today. Father, Lord Jesus, we come before you today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, my God. God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Communion, my God. Thank you. Lord, my God, to give unto you that you may give unto us. You pray, yes, my God, holy and receive you. every request. Today. My God, make us whole. Hallelujah. Oh, God, and complete, my God. Yes, Jesus. We receive Thank the bread and body of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, my God. Thank you, God. Help us, my God. Hallelujah. My God, receive, my God, of your word internally in Jesus' name. We pray your blessings upon the bread and wine today. There's a reference to your body and your blood. Lord, let it be, my God, an example unto us, my God, of the sacrifice that you made. My God, the for the sacrifices that we give unto you, my God. We thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name, it's our prayer. Amen. amen. And amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. On Calvary. On Calvary. On Calvary. On Calvary. On Calvary. On See how we die. See how we die. See how we die. See how we die. Oh Lord, on Calvary, on Calvary, on Calvary, on Calvary, on Calvary, on Calvary, on Calvary. Those two until we eat together. Amen. Amen. 
and then they'll call feet washing rooms thereafter there. Praise God. So they charge, praise God, to the ladies, praise God, hallelujah. So ladies in the front, men, we ask you to assemble to the rear, praise God. Amen. My Lord left an example. Oh, 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 oh. My Lord left an example. Oh, oh, oh. My Lord left an example. Oh, oh, oh. My Lord left an example. My Lord left an example. My Lord left an example. Oh, Lord, wash each other's feet. My Lord. I 